Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. If I show you my virtual machine here, I have about five windows open. And if I want to switch between them, I can either use a taskbar or I can use a well-known command called Alt and Tab. And it can go through them, as you can see, and then I, can, I have to keep pressing the tab to go across each one to select what I want. And it looks pretty bland. There's no process information. You just select which one you want. Now, this may be ideal for some people, but I'm looking for a little bit more when I press Alt and Tab. Now, if I show you my machine, and uh, this is my main desktop, I'm just going to Alt and Tab now. You can see that it's come up with a nice box here, and uh, I can actually use my mouse to go over everything. And you'll notice it's slightly transparent as well. You can see my background, and as I press Alt and Tab, and if I let go now, it sort of fades out and obviously it's switched. Uh, if I open a few windows and try it, you can see it's fading as I do it, out and in. Notice that? Now, um, you can also see that yeah, the box is looking quite nice. It's using my visual style called Slan XP. So if you guys have copied me with my Slan XP theme, then you want to get this because it does look really nice on the screen and having it slightly transparent as well. This is um, this program that's using is called Task Switch XP, and basically it just shows you an, a nicer way of having of switching through your programs. So you can see that um, my music is actually showing the place on the desktop on each one here. It's got a picture of my desktop and it's showing the place of each one. Now obviously some of them can't be shown because they're minimized and you'll notice that it says an icon and it's minimized so it doesn't show it. And um, with the rest you can see where they are. Now you can also uh, select things. Now if you were to go on one of these and press the I button, now I'm keeping Alt held by the way as I do this because if I let go of Alt it will switch to whatever it's doing. So I'm keeping Alt held and I'll go on to, for example, I'll go into Firefox and I'll press I. Now you notice it's come up with a little speech bubble here and it says the image name, obviously I've got to keep it on the right bit there. So it says the image name is Firefox, it says the duration has been open, the CPU time, memory usage, and uh, the VM size, and I'm not sure what the VM size is, but hey. Um, so yeah, you can switch between these and then you can also, another great feature of Task Switch XP, I talked about having... Um, Thunderbird and Mozilla Firefox in the system tray. Now, Task Switch XP also allows you to do this. Uh, you just have to right click your program. Again, I'm keeping Alt held, and it, there's an option to minimize the tray. It's a great thing to use, and then I can just uh, I can click minimize the tray. I can still stay on this box, but you'll notice that Firefox is now minimized into the tray. And just to show you that it works with other programs, I'll minimize my music to the tray. And you can see that we've now got the icon of my music. So I just click and it comes back again. So um, and you can select more than one as well. You just uh, hold the control key, click one, click another one, click another one, click another one. And then you can um, show the process information of all of them or sort them. Um, you can move things up and down. There's uh, several things you can do here with this Alt Tab replacement. And it looks nice as well, as you can see. So um, it actually runs in the task bar here, but you can actually hide the icon if you want to. You just go to Quick Preferences and then Hide Tray Icon. And there's a few things I probably haven't even covered, but I'm just going to go through um, some of the basic settings. You can have an auto start with Windows, set the high priority, uh, use a custom icon for the system tray, um, save and load settings, appearance. You can have it position itself anywhere on your screen. So mine was in top center, because usually it would be directly in the center. Uh, you can have it as transparent as you want. I had it set as 8% because it goes seriously transparent so you can't see it and you're too busy looking at the windows. Um, fade in animation in milliseconds so you can have it like really slow animations in and out. You can change the visual style of it. Uh, force you use classic style. Uh, you can have a task list. Uh, this is uh, just customizing. You can customize pretty much everything you see. And uh, you can have a window preview style as well. So if I select windows pre window preview style and press apply then do it, you'll notice that it's just showing the box so it's easier to see like a full screen version or a preview box of each of the applications instead of seeing where they are on the desktop so you can just see what's inside them now uh, if I click back to this there's some more stuff, paint de desktop background um, task info, you can change the fonts hotkeys, set hotkeys for absolutely everything uh, so it looks like you can set hotkeys for minimizing windows to the tray, now that is a good feature uh, so you can just set a hotkey and then you can minimize whatever you have open to the tray. And uh, exclusions for things that might not work with Task Switch XP and Advanced. So um, that pretty much covers it. You can download this for free. This is Task, e Task, Switch, um, oops, Task Switch XP Pro 2.0.
Uh, I thought it was running in the taskbar. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Task XP Pro 2.0. And um, that is pretty much showing you. And as you can see, with the Slan XP, it does actually look really nice when you go to switch through icons. It, it may, I mean, to be honest, I think it's a little bit overkill um, for what it is. But um, it doesn't bother me. It looks quite nice and it does what I want it to do. So that's about it, really. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.